hello friends welcome to java ee jpa tutorial now you are watching part 2 of the sub series jpa entity create read update delete operation so in this video we are going to prepare the bean instance i mean we are going to prepare the stateless session bean that will deal with the uh, method for uh, the create read update and delete operation so here are the prerequisites which we already discussed in the previous video so let me quickly go through it So this CRUD operation, we will continue from our previous tutorial. Here in the previous tutorial, we learned about the JPA. Then we created a JPA project. And after that, we created a, a entity. So here we will use this same entity and we will add further functionality. We learned about JPA tools. Then we learned about entity manager then we implemented jpa client i mean we implemented the jsp so here we will be continuing from this but uh, this time we will learn update and delete operation that means uh, all uh, four basic create read update and delete all right so create we already learned so that's what we did here here in this video we will do it in a more organized way so we learned about the entity states in the previous video so let me quickly go through it so that you can recap what we learned in the previous video here if you see we already have the saving account being remote so you have to look at this uh, code snippet notation also 3.7 that means uh, the previous uh, series sub series 3 uh, sample 1 is uh, so the code snippets are written like this uh, sample 1.x so this is a uh, stateless session bin that's our first sub series then we have sample 2.x we learned stateful session bin 3.x so that means in the previous video we implemented in a sequence 3.1 3.2 like that and we learned jpa entity here we will be implementing the example using 4.x series all right so that means this is our existing remote interface which we created for this example uh, when we talked about the stateless session bin and entity I mean JP entity that time we added this uh, declaration in our uh, remote uh, uh, interface of the stateless uh, bin all right now we will declare three more method deposit money so this one if you see previously we created a method that means we declared a method that will take the account holder name and the initial balance and it creates a new account in the database now we are adding further functionality deposit money so this will take the uh, person id or banking id we can say then the amount will be invested using this method deposit money then withdraw money same is required person id so using this the uh, bean will 
make use of entity manager to retrieve a single record after that we will uh, withdraw the money then uh, here we will be closing the account and if you notice here everything here operates on the unique id so when we defined the entity we used at the rate id right at the rate id pid or person id i forgot the field name so we used a id field person id or personal banking id and we decorated that with the uh, annotation at the rate id at the rate id at generated value at the rate column so that's how we created our entity right so and you can see uh, here in this video we are going to perform these three operation so this new account is for to understand uh, create deposit money withdraw money close on all this stuff we will definitely perform the read operation then here in deposit and withdraw money we will learn update as well because we need to update the balance field right in the uh, database and here close account we need to uh, delete the record itself that means uh, here we will perform a read as well as delete we will learn uh, both the operation and if you see create read update and delete all four we will be covering with this uh, example so for that we declared uh, three more method here in the remote interface then in the bean implementation for now we are keeping a dummy implementation that means we are just returning minus one and here we are returning the false for a close uh, saving account so towards the end of this sub series we will implement this and for now we are keeping a dummy implementation so that's all here in this uh, short video now we will go to the demo and we will add this uh, functionality so this is our uh, workspace which we are using for the ejp development and i am opening the workspace so i would suggest at the end of each sub series you take a backup of this workspace and if required take the backup of your wildfly runtime environment all right now let's click uh, okay so here is our environment and for a quick review of a previous sub series if you see we have a jpa persistence and we have a entity here in this package saving accounts savings account dot java this is our persistence.xml and we have other four parts so previously we have stateless session bean right now i am opening ejp bean client project this is our ejp module in the stateless session bean we created a remote interface to work with the saving account entity so in sub series 3 we declared this method now we will declare further methods so the code snippets are available in the video description you can download it from there so the moment we add this method we will get an error in our implementation class so we can double click and open it so if you see here the create new account was already created in the previous sub series now for now we will provide the dummy implementation So just to press the control shift f to format it all right now we will remove this then we will start our server
okay there is a no error so far now we will add the component and see is there any issues now our ear project contains four ejb bean ejb bean client and dynamic web application then ejb saving account and if you see the web application further depends on this ejb client because it's a separate entity even though it's in the ejb uh, ear file all right now we will click finish I think we haven't added it. That's all. So here we are seeing deployed EJB ER. So there are warnings. We can ignore it. Info. There is a no error at this moment so warnings we can ignore that's all here in this uh, demo so we just took our existing uh, uh, bean and bean implementation and we introduced uh, uh, functionality however in our uh, bean implementation we just provided a dummy implementation we will revisit these three function towards the end of the series and in the next coming videos, we will be creating the other layers. Other layers in the sense we will be creating the HTML. Then we will be creating the um, uh, servlets. All the stuff we will create. Deposit money, withdraw money and uh, uh, these two will make use of our existing methods which we created in our previous demo. And if you see for deposit money, we already have a method so these entity methods we can directly use we can make a call to deposit and withdraw it will internally modify the balance and you can see the balance is uh, attached to column that means a uh, table saving account and in that uh, it is referring the uh, the balance field it is referring the balance column okay i don't want to reiterate this stuff because we learned about this in the previous sub series so that's all here in this video thank you for uh, watching bye